Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and a couple weeks ago I did a video called Godot But Prettier, where I showed you how using a theme, theming supported Godot, and an add-on, you could make Godot feel much more modern user interface-wise. Today we're going to look at how you could actually make it more efficient. We're going to be looking at a program called uh, To-Do Manager, and this is going to be a kind of a game-changer for some of you. If you're the type of person that does like little fix-me or to-do or hack messages in your comments, this makes tracking them down and organizing them so much easier. So here we are in a simple project. We'll go ahead uh, here. We'll drop a logo in the scene. I, I need something to attach a script to later on. So here we are in our simple project. And now what I'm going to do is go ahead and install this add-on. It's available in the asset lib. It's also available on GitHub if you want the, like, the most latest, greatest, cutting-edge version of it. But the easiest way to grab it from the asset library and just come in here and search for to-do. What you want here is to-do manager. By the way, there is an earlier version of this available for Godot 3. Uh, so if you're using that version, make sure you install that one instead. And go ahead, download it let it do its thing, and then go ahead and let it install. So once that is done, uh, so it has been installed now, all we have left to do is enable it. So we just basically come on up here to project, project settings like so, and you switch on over here to plugins, and now that it's installed, it should show up right here. So go ahead and enable it. If you download it from GitHub, all you need to do is drop it in your add-ons folder, and then it should show up here as well, by the way. So that's done. We'll enable it, and then boom, magically to-do shows up. Now, the cool thing here is to-do, you're going to notice if I go down to it, there's this new panel here, and you've got this example GD and quick jumps to these things. So I'm going to come back to that in a second. I'm going to actually show you this uh, live. So go back here to our project, and we'll grab our icon right here, and we're going to go ahead and add a script to this guy. Uh, GD script, sure. We'll call it icon.gd, fine. So here we are in our script. So let's say you're the type of person that's like, ah, you know what, I got to come back to this later on. So I'm just going to go ahead here and go uh, to do fix this. This code is trash. Now the cool thing here is uh, you now have automatic syntax highlighting as of Godot 4.1, I think it was, possibly Godot 4.2, uh, for the to-do keyword. So it'll pop out and show you right there. But the cool thing about the to-do manager is I'm going to go ahead and save this guy right now. So let's minimize that down. Save it. Uh, sure, node.tscn, and then boom, here you see it just showed up right there. Uh, so we could also do it here, uh, hack, like, really dude, you're going to do this like so? Uh, and then down here, again, hack is a keyword in, well, not a keyword, but it's uh, a highlighted comment in Godot, so it shows up there. And then we've also got the option of fix me. By the way, if you want to put a colon there, whatever you can, it's literally just looking for the, the letters fix me to do or hack. Uh, so if that's done, uh, this really needs to be replaced and then done. So you've done that. I'm going to go ahead and save this and you're going to see all of a sudden they show up down here. So here, they'll jump to that project. So now here an icon. We jump to our to-do, we could jump to our hack, or we could jump to our fix me. So if you're the type of person who uses these, this will automatically parse your project and find them. Now, the cool thing here is, let's go back here to Node, and we're going to attach a script to this guy as well. So let's make this one a C-sharp script, and we will create. And now that is done. So uh, I've got our C-sharp code right here. And then in my comments, I'll just do another comment to do... Uh, to do Make this do something interesting at some point. And then again, we could also do the same thing. Hack. This was a really bad idea. Now, one thing you're noticing, this isn't a full-blown code editor for C Sharp, so you're not getting the automatic highlighting of to-do or hack. There are ways to provide that, if, especially if you're using like Visual Studio Code or whatever. Uh, but not there, save it, and then boom, that's immediately there. So this works just as well uh, in C Sharp, also works with GD extensions as well. So if you're using C++ and GD extensions, uh, it will work there. So bang, automatically jump to the code that you're looking at. Uh, and then uh, obviously if I come in here and we get rid of our hack, so our hack is fixed, we save it, the hack automatically goes away. And once again, if it doesn't update for some reason, you can do a rescan of your files and it will already automatically find it. Uh, you can do here so that then this panel will only show you the currently open project. So for example, here, it will show me the ones for this one, for this one, or for this one, so you can set it to just the current only or the entire project, and then you have configurations of the settings. So if you want to do change the to-do color here, we can do like a British racing green instead. Uh, and then what you'll see is now you, you you can't actually see it because that was a very bad choice of color. All right, let's go with red. All right, so let's do like a hot red. 
like so. And what you see is they jump out that way. So you got configurations over how they appear. Uh, you can also say ignore them in certain paths. Uh, you can uh, set the sorting order of them. So by alphabetical or reverse alphabetical, uh, you can have it show the full path in the script. So right here, you can have it fully resolve that out. Uh, and then you can even set up which patterns to look for. Uh, so if you wanna do one here, and then this is something I do for myself a lot. So we're looking for bold and then MJF-B, case sensitive or not case sensitive. So now what I could do is I could come up here and go, uh, by the way, MJF is my initials. Uh, so it's like so. Let's go back over here and we'll save that. And now you'll notice the new one is available right here. Of course, you could, if you want to change that, you're going to probably want to set a color for it too, like so, and set the color there. So you can even create your own uh, hot keys for it for your organization here. It's a very simple tool, uh, but it does some really cool things. You can also turn off the auto refreshing if for some reason it's conflicting and then just manually rescan every time. I don't know really why you'd want to do that. You can also have it uh, scan the built-in scripts if you so wish. Again, I'm not really sure why you'd want to do that, uh, but yeah, that is it. So this is To Do Manager. It is available up on GitHub. Uh, you'll see it's from Origami Dev Dash Pete. It's called To Do Manager. Uh, it is updated constantly. Uh, again, this is a project that's been in the works for a very long time in the Godot 3 version, but they make several different updates of it right here. If you like what you see here, come in, give them a star. Uh, it, it's a cool project. It's one of those things I would like to say like this should be built in, but you know what? We're starting to get into the area where I think this makes sense to be an add-on because I can understand why some people would absolutely love this, whereas other people would be like, yeah, I don't need that. Uh, so it could be some UI clutter to others, but I, I think to a lot of people that like, I, I know myself for sure, I do MJF and then write comments to myself or future me. And I also do to do quite often as well. And you know, and it's normal to the point in the world of Godot that they've already started syntax highlighting these things. So this gives you the ability to basically put it all in one place. And it's a really cool organizational tool for the Godot game engine. Also, if you're interested, that Godot but prettier, uh, I will have a link to that as well, how you can take the Godot game engine. And well, this is this is part of the theme, uh, but there's a little bit more to it as well. So this is uh, from Passive Stars theme uh, and also how you can get a doc. Now, the cool thing is that doc is actually coming uh, in the next version of Godot, which is cool. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, that is it. This is To-Do Manager uh, for the Godot game engine. Helps you just organize your to-dos better. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.